We are back with another episode, fun episodes. You're not even in the... Parmesan! You are now. Okay. Fun episodes with Parmesan. Never say no to highlights. Oops, I just messed up our table. <laughs> Damn, I'm glowing now too much. Ooh. She is shining. She is definitely shining. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and it's my weekend. So I'm having a blast and I'm living life right now because I'm doing what I love to do. Waited so long, finally using the KKW, the collaboration with Mario, the eyeshadow palette. You probably saw all the different videos that um, all the makeup artists, YouTubers, or even Mario himself used this eyeshadow palette. I couldn't resist because um, you remember the video I did with the Stila eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadow. And I said, yeah, everything on my eyelids are purple. And I wish I could find a good blue. I don't really like matte blues. Sometimes they turn out to be very chalky looking on eyelid. I like a little sheen to a blue, but not turning it to be purple. Um, I think they did it. Yes, as you guessed, the blue was one of the main reasons why I bought this palette, but um, I heard so much good stuff about it, how blendable it is, how creamy, and um, it's just a very easy, good, neutral palette. So I said, you know what, it's just a great excuse. YouTube is a great excuse for me to just go and spend my $50. So um, that was my excuse. Let's jump into it, and I haven't even touched them like if you look I haven't touched it I want to do it on the video like the first kind of impression on the video and give you all my unfiltered basically reviews and my you know thoughts about the product I really do like the packaging perfect color if you didn't notice I'm matching with it kind of I went for a great vibe today, matching this. All right, let's see what we can make. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use Libra, which is a blue one. I'll try my best to put as many as eyeshadow, like use as many as eyeshadow I have in this palette. That way you guys see how they perform and how they are. Hopefully it's gonna turn out to be good, you know? So one thing about taking videos, you never know how they're going to turn out. It's basically risky. So I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Just Concealer. Little concealer here. Tap the concealer in. So I'm using concealer to show you guys that I don't use a regular primer. Not all the time, sometimes I'm on the go and I can't find my primer or I'm somewhere um, I don't have my primer. So one thing you can do, you can use your, definitely use your concealer as your primer. It gives you the nice base. Just make sure it's pretty blend in. And I go over it with my beauty blender to take any excess off. And what I do is I set it as I set my regular eyeshadow primer with my translucent powder or any like, you know, um, face, I would say powders. So I'm using the La Paris and I set the, con um, basically concealer. I think I'm gonna go in with Miami uh, color as a transition. It's very similar to the Puki or um, Jaclyn Hill palette. If you have that palette, it's very similar. What I also love about this palette, it had it got its own mirror, so it's very easy to use, perfect for traveling, versus Jaclyn Hill palette that has no mirror in it. 
So I'm going to go very softly. Oh, it's very pigmented. Guys, I'm not joking. I don't make any effort, like even pushing or forcing my brush on my lid. It's so buttery and it blends very, very nice. Like I did only one and it's already blended. I'm gonna go in um, to, I think this one is Loyalty. Yes, Loyalty, which is a deeper, more, um, you know, ashy tone brown. And just right below the crease, I always do this. Again, I think Identity Palette has this color as well. I forgot the names, but definitely has this color and I love the ashy undertone. So if you notice, I don't know why, but I'm like literally carving my eyelid down to my tear duct. I guess we're going for that look. I usually don't do it. I come like right in the middle, but I'm continuing doing it towards the tear duct or my inner corner basically. So far, no fallout. Like I don't see any eyeshadow underneath because I did my whole face first to make sure if I see any, <clears throat> you know, fallout and there is none. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the brick color. It's called um, Albanian. I'm gonna go over the ashy tone a little bit underneath and just pack it and work with it in my crease. This helped to warm up the whole, you know, look. Let's see what else I can use. Um, I think I'm gonna move on with the blue because I'm just too excited to use it. Um, using the other side of the brush, what I'll do is I'm gonna pack the blue on my lid. So I'm packing it instead of like blending it right away and see how it's gonna perform and how pigmented it is on my eyelid. So I'm gonna, I always do start with the center and then I'll decide if I wanna do the whole lid or just the middle. It's very blue, no purple undertone. I love the no purple undertone, you guys. Okay, guys, uh, my camera died on. So <laughs> I had to wait 20 minutes. I have no idea how I ended it. Like, what was my last sentence when I stopped filming? I don't know. I think I was there saying that you can, you know, spray your brush with your setting spray and dip in your shadow. It's going to be more pigment. There are definitely some fallouts, which I don't really care. But if you're going somewhere and you're going for a full on smoky eye, like right before an event, I would probably do my eye makeup first, wipe it off and then do my face. So that's one of the things that I noticed. But it blends very nicely. Like I, It's very easy to pack on. You can definitely pack it on. And the color doesn't have any purple undertone whatsoever. So that's a plus. I might do my other eye with the, um, you know, the setting spray and see how different it is from this eye. I want to show you guys like everything that I see here on the camera. It's a very pretty blue. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen those. I think Laura Mercier is making or made those, you know, stick primers that they're colorful and they have a blue. I might go buy that and then next video I might use it. I sometimes I like using colored eye primers I don't have any right now I'm done with all of them 
but underneath the very colorful, you know, eyeshadows, it just makes the color pop even more than what it is. So what I'm gonna do, I will go back to my transition color and go over all the edges to soften the whole look. Kind of like wing it out, very soft. With the tapered brush, I'm going in to the rustic red color again. I don't know what was the name of it. Just on my outer corner. And since I said I'm gonna try my best to use all the almost like all the color on this palette, I'm gonna go with the smaller brush, like a flat brush, grab a little, I think it's called Armenian. It's a gold finish. Just have a little in the center over the blue. It took away a little from my blue, so I'm gonna dip in my brush into the blue again and go over the corners. So a little more gold. You know what? I'm gonna spray my brush. I wanna see how vibrant this blue can be. Dip it into the blue and then go over the blue part. Oh, yes! Yes, honey! This is the blue that I'm talking about. You know what? I'm gonna go over the gold. Sorry, guys, because it's just. I have to do the blue. We can make different looks with this palette, but today I'm all about this gorgeous blue. So by spraying the brush, what it does, it helps with the fallout as well. So you won't see as many as, you know, stuff like basically powder on your cheek. So I'm gonna go in with the brick color one more time this eye and do the same thing on my lid as the other eye. All right, the blue is on. So I need to find out what I'm gonna do with my under eye. So I'm gonna go off the camera, wipe my under eye, put my concealer on and come back guys and finish the look. Okay guys, I'm back, concealed and sealed. Let's do this. Let's work on the lower lash line. Let's see what brush is the cleanest over here. Somebody needs to wash their face brushes and eye brushes. I'm gonna go with Glam. It's like the bronzy, goldy color. Wow. This is a very, very pretty color. Very pretty. I'm gonna go in with bronzy and just use it on the outer corners and wing it out over that glam color. Very, very close to my lash line with the bronzy. A trick I learned from Mario himself is I don't know if he um, wet the brush, but sometimes I do it. I wet the brush, make it um, like damp, and I dip into the bronzy color and just go over it on my lower lash line. So you want to look down, you know, tilt your head down and look up to get on your lash line. Waterline, waterline, waterline. This just brings out, you know, the brown eye. I'm gonna go in with the tiny brush, spray it first, dip it in 2008, that curly highlighter and highlighting color. Always like to blend these kind of colors on my hand and just highlight my tear duct. I think I went a bit wild, like wing it out this part, like this eye so much. Got way too excited. I'm gonna try to blend it and then go over it with my brush. That was just too much, guys. With a different angle brush, I'm gonna go in to, 
I think Vegas. Yes, it is Vegas. It's gonna like a burgundy color. Just put it right in the middle, like right here in the center. Actually, I'm not going to do it in the center. I'm going to do it on my outer corner, my on the lower lash, and just connect it to my, basically my little wing up there. Yeah. Let's not forget to highlight our brow bone. Going in with this small brush, and I always like to use my ring finger to blend it out. Such a pretty highlighting color. I believe you can even use this as a highlighter. Okay, let's see what color we use. I used the 2008 for highlighting the matte. I could have set my eyelid with the matte one, which I forgot, so next time I'm going to do that. I use the um, Glam, which is kind of like not too bronzy, rustic, a little bronze look. So that's a glam. The brick color, I use that one to transition the purple, the gold, the blue, and all the others. So this look is, I use all the color except the matte one. I'll go and put my mascara on off the camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got my mascara on. I think it turned out to be a good look. What do you guys think? For me, not knowing what I was doing actually and try to use all the colors in the pan, it turned out to be a good look. The eyeshadows are very easy, I don't know how to say it, very buttery finish, so it's easy to blend with different colors. That's what I love the most about this palette. I, As I said, I love the packaging, has the mirror, which is a big plus for me when I'm traveling. The only downside about this palette is that the colors that are not matte, the shimmery looking color ones, they have some fallout. I mean, I don't care because I usually do my eye makeup first and move on to my face makeup. The only palette I have used and I've been using it for months. There is no fallout whatsoever on even the shimmery color ones. Is the Identity palette from Persona. Um, it's my go-to palette. I said it many times. That palette is just fantastic. But if someone is looking for a good pop of color in a palette with all the other neutrals that you can do your everyday makeup, I would suggest this palette. Even though it's, I know it's forty-five dollars. They charge you for shipping too. I think the shipping was like $8 or $8.99, something like that. It comes out to be $53, $54. It's not an inexpensive palette for having only 10 eyeshadow colors. I know I bought it because I was just so curious to see how it performs and I was looking for a blue eyeshadow and a good pop of color. But I have to say like the Jaclyn Hill or Morphe palettes, the quality is almost the same. This one might be a little bit better, uh, but almost the same and you pay like half a price for more than double colors in this one. I think the Jaclyn Hill palette has like 32 or 38 colors and the palette is 38 bucks or 34 bucks. I think this is it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. I'm glad I purchased this. I'm not regretting it like the last video that I did. Have a great day. I see you on my next video. I'm still working on my San Francisco vlog. It's taking so much time. Hopefully it will be up um, next week and I'll see you there. Bye. Thanks for watching.